Welcome back to Author's Note. The African growth story keeps rolling on, with the IMF forecasting around 5-6% to growth. But what about the equity markets? Last year was the first year in which Africa outperformed other emerging markets since the financial crisis. Here with me to look if, as to whether that is sustainable is Stephen Bailey-Smith, Head of Research at Standard Bank. Stephen, thanks for joining us today. As I said, uh, last year was the first year in which Africa outperformed other emerging markets since the crisis. Can you explain a little bit perhaps why? Um, let's look at the chart, shall we? Let's go to our <laughs> first chart. So, um, actually, Africa, um, ex-South Africa, so it's pred predominantly uh, sub-Saharan Africa, although there's the, uh, Morocco and Egypt, I think, are included in there, um, w was up about 46%. And that compares to emerging markets that are up about 15%. Um, actually, other frontier markets, interestingly, were actually only up about 15% as well, broadly in line with the emerging markets. Um, part of that is, is, is the rising tide. So this is about global liquidity and, and the search for yield. And that's about foreign investors coming in um, on the G4 sort of currency. Uh, and part of that is about the idiosyncratic stories that we have in Africa, particularly in the three dominant uh, participants within that index, which is Nigeria, Kenya and Egypt. Well, if we look at the chart here, um, there's a s clearly a, a crucial point around the midpoint of the year in 2012. Yeah, so, uh, so, so what this, happened here? Yeah, this, this, this period here was, was sort of, you know, May 2012 was where the markets globally changed. It's when uh, Draghi came out and basically reassured the markets. So that, that created the risk climate uh, which we saw in actually most risk assets, not just in equities, uh, but so across the board. And you mentioned the idiosync idiosyncrasies of the market. Um, what, what's driven some of this? So if we look at Nigeria, uh, in Nigeria and Kenya, it was very much about the currency cycle. So we had a, a, a kind of crisis of confidence in 2011 in both Kenya and, uh, and, and Nigeria. Uh, rates in both countries had to be raised to 22, 23% in the front end, which were, you know, obviously compressed equity uh, valuations and equity performance. And as those, those yields have come down in the first half of uh, 2012, then the equity markets have started to take off. Um, particularly the banking sector in Nigeria is up over 60% this year. And actually mainly the banks in, uh, along with Safaricom in Kenya as well. Egypt obviously was a slightly different, uh, different sort of kettle of fish. We obviously had a, a political crisis there through sort of 2011. I think people got a little bit more optimistic there in 2012. But again, as with Kenya, as with uh, Nigeria, off a very low base. So if we look at our second chart now, which is uh, the uh, looking at bond markets, um, again, you know, we, you talk about how the risk sentiment has Im meant that uh, African returns have, have outseeded, uh, exceeded other areas. Um, what, what does this tell us? Okay, so, so the uh, JB, JP Morgan's MB Global is, is the sort of benchmark for emerging market dollar sovereign debt. Um, that, that had a huge outperformance. Again, May was the sort of turning point. Um, uh, on the year, it was up about 18.5%, which was a tremendous performance. Uh, by any standards, you know, uh, sort of globally. Africa outperformed that predominantly because the, the, there's a higher yield. So although the, the, the two are very closely correlated, uh, the higher yield in Africa um, meant that it, 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 it outperformed. Uh, there were particularly some, some very important stories there. Cote d'Ivoire rebounded. It's a large um, sort of individual bond. Cote d'Ivoire's uh, euro bonds were up about 91% last year, so a huge sort of performance. So w is this sustainable? That's the, case, the, the big question for investors in 2013, whether it's bonds, whether it's equities, I'm putting you on the spot a little. Um, um, I, I, I think for, for uh, the, the sovereign debt, I'm a little concerned about the asset class. The spreads uh, are probably 100 wide of their all-time tights on the MB. Um, I think we can tighten in a little bit more, but I'm not convinced that we're going to get the price appreciation that drove this, predominantly actually because Treasury is the underlying instrument, uh, can, you know, sort of increased in value and the price went up. So I think if you, if you accept that Treasury is going to be fairly stable as a, as, a, as a base case, that they don't sell off, then I, I'm looking for Africa to deliver sort of 7 to 10% and uh, MB to be sort of 5 to 6% this year, so significantly lower than last year. However, on the e equity side, I think, that I think we're looking 
uh, for that African index to do another 30 to 40 percent actually. Well, Stephen thank you very much for joining us today. So for 2013 perhaps another year of outperformance in Africa compared to other emerging markets.